Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today when I was uh, surfing internet, watching YouTube videos, I saw uh, such question. I am blood group O RH positive and both my uh, daughters are RH negative. How it is possible? I use this question because I see it quite uh, often and basically when we talk about RH factor we are talking about a certain antigen present on the surface of the red blood cell. On the surface of the red blood cell, uh, hundreds of different antigens are present, but most important for blood transfusion is antigens uh, of the ABO blood group system, A, B, O, because in this blood system we see three alleles that can produce four different phenotypes, blood group A, B, AB and O, but in RH uh, group there only can be two variants of the allele. Uh, one is allele which is positive sign, another is negative sign. Basically positive sign means that on the surface of the red blood cell we can find this antigen present and if recipient would be RH negative uh, his blood would contain antibodies that would attack such foreign RBC or red blood cells. So basically a positive sign means that such antigens are present and negative sign means that this allele is defective and unable to produce normal protein that would be present on the surface of the uh, red blood cells. So basically we can say that positive allele would produce this antigen and negative would be defective allele that would produce um, antigen but it would be defective and uh, it's maybe stay inside the cell never reach the surface and uh, then never would be able to produce immune response from the uh, organism of the recipient of such a blood. So when we have two alleles in diploid organism of course such two alleles can make three different genotypes. The first one would be positive, positive, another one would be positive and negative and the third one would be negative, negative. And these two genotypes would make blood group which we call RH positive. And this one would make uh, blood group which we call RH negative. So how it is possible that uh, parent has blood group RH positive and his child is RH negative. Two variants are possible. It doesn't matter uh, who asks this question, whether it is a uh, woman or man, sex doesn't play any role here. So we just say that uh, one parent can be, say, uh, heterozygous, so can be positive negative and this is RH positive and another parent can be also heterozygous. So when we build simple Punnett square let's see what we may found in the progeny. So positive positive here two positive alleles, positive negative here, positive negative here and negative negative here. According to the Spanish square in the progeny, three quarters of the progeny we can expect that uh, progeny would belong to the blood group RH positive and one quarter of the progeny we can expect that would belong to the blood group RH negative even when both parents are RH positive. Even in this case such people may have progeny that is going to be 
uh, Rh negative. So even don't think about infidelity here, it is possible that two Rh positive parents may have Rh negative child. And the other variant can be when one parent is heterozygous and another parent is homozygous uh, recessive or uh, Rh negative. So in this case, let's see what we can observe. We can see, once again, if we build a Punnett square, that 50% of the progeny would be heterozygous and 50% of the progeny would be Rh negative. So in this scenario, 50% would be Rh positive and 50% would be Rh negative. So if one parent is Rh negative and another parent is Rh positive, still 50% of their progeny can be uh, Rh negative. So as you see, it is, it may happen quite often uh, when two Rh positive parents may have uh, Rh negative child or uh, of course 50% uh, of the progeny uh, in a couple uh, where one uh, parent is Rh negative another is Rh positive 50% of the progeny would be Rh negative and 50% would be Rh positive. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.